Hey guys, this is Marshall Kirby from Orchard Hill Farm Equipment. Beside me today, we have two different tractor models, uh, probably the most two commonly compared models that we get for customers coming out here. So I figured we'd do a video um, showing you guys the differences and why one customer might choose one model over the other. So let's hop right to it. This is a CK3510 SE cab hydrostatic uh, with the KL4030 loader and a 66 inch front bucket. Behind me over here, we have a DK4210 SE. This is a uh, cab tractor as well. Offers the KL5521 loader with a 72 inch quick attach bucket on the front. Larger tires, um, so larger chassis size. But the first thing let's get straight on these two tractors is that the tractor pricing is very, very close to each other on both these tractors. And what I mean by that is we are talking a thousand to two thousand dollars difference between A here and B here. Um, in my books, that's not much at all. That's pennies when you're looking at spending close to thirty thousand dollars on a tractor. All right. Um, so we're going to go through what you get for the smaller and what you get for the bigger, and uh, put it this way: they are the same engines in both, same displacement, all that same stuff going on. So there's no difference as far as that goes. Um, Big difference is gonna be lift capacity though. So we'll discuss that and we'll get further into the options that these tractors have. Um, and the tire width, the tire size. Gl ground clearance on both these tractors is almost identical. And the reason for that is because the loader actually has an underslung frame that goes to the back end on the DK4210 SE, whereas the CK does not have that. So don't think about the taller tractor gonna have more ground clearance because it actually is about equal. Um, tires are wider on this tractor. The rear rims you can invert on the uh, DK series. The, uh, the tractor loaders will go over. So this loader picks up about 1,800 pounds to full height on this tractor and uh, has a good hydraulic flow on this machine. It's around 11.7 gallons per minute. The uh, DK over there the front loader picks up around 2480, uh, 2500 approximately to full height at the pivot pin. So you're gaining by going with that tractor approximately six, 700 pounds in lift capacity specs. And uh, your hydraulic flow rate on that system is right in the range, don't hold me to it, but 16 and a half gallons per minute. So those are some loader spec differences. Uh, you'll notice that with the size of the pistons, we got the different pistons going on here. There's a reason those pistons are larger and what have you. Um, a lot of people look at me and go, well, Marshall, why am I even gonna consider a DK? It's gotta be a lot more money. And when they find out it's not, that's when they actually start to consider the DK4210. Um, why is the pricing so close? Is pretty much because this CK3510 SE does have a lot of extra features in it that we're gonna go through today that the DK does not come with standard, although some of the features this CK has, the DK also has, many of them uh, are optional on the DK. So that's how we get these prices of these two tractors. You get a larger tractor, less featured out, you know, less features for a similar price of the smaller tractor with more features. Again, it is the same engine practically, one's 35, one's 40. So therefore, pretty much equal in that aspect. Uh, they do even make a 40 in this CK frame size. I have never sold one. Um, they do, some dealers sell a lot of them. Um, why I haven't sold one is pretty much for the reason that the, the smaller 40 horse is way more expensive than the larger 40 horse, and that just doesn't make sense to me. So um, I will sell it to you if, you if that's something you need and it's the perfect match, but to this day, I haven't sold one yet. Um, it's been 3510 SEs throughout the board and the 4210 SEs. Um, let's go through some of the features that you get that are different. So we're going to come back here and we're going to go, we'll go straight to the back end of the tractors and talk about some of the features you got back here. So I'm going to try and point out some of the features that you don't get on the DK, but I don't want to point out every feature the tractor has. I have other videos doing, you know, that. So anyways, Three-point hitch, lift and lower. This is something the CK and the DK do actually both have now. 
Um, this allows you to lift and lower the three-point hitch arms from the back of the tractor with being outside of the tractor. Uh, you get a toolbox standard on both these tractors. One thing you do not get on the DK is a rear-mounted wiper on the rear window. Both windows on both models are defrosted, but you do not get a rear wiper on the DK. So that would be an option that let's put in and just say it's about $250 to $350. Give you an idea there of one of the features this tractor has. The next one we'll talk about is down here. These three-point hitch arms, these are extendable links. What I mean by that is you can see that I unlock that. These guys extend it out. You can lock them back there. As well as these side links, you know, you'll pull the tab here. And you can adjust the width on these side links very quickly just by moving that. Uh, so these are an upgraded three-point hitch, something I'd call a more deluxe three-point hitch. Uh, you can add these to the DK. Don't hold me again to any of these prices, but we're going to go in and roughly say that this option is probably around a $400 to $500 option, maximum, absolute max, installed on that DK. Could be a little cheaper, though. Next option is down here. These are probably the most expensive option that we see on these tractors. These are rear hydraulic ports. Um, and there is two sets standard on this CK cab. There is one set standard over on the DK. So that's an added feature that you get standard is that one extra set of remotes. Again, don't hold me to these prices, but calculations show that on pretty much any tractor, adding one set of rear remotes is going to generally add in five to 900 bucks, depending on installation cost, dealer, and what brand and everything. But uh, you get two here, you get one there. So add that up, say that's another, let's call it a $600 option there. So um, there is a few options just on the back of this. Now we're gonna open up the cab door um, and show you a couple other options that this cab has inside here. So um, basically when I hop up in here, you're going to have uh, a few different features on the tilt steering wheel. So they both have tilt steering wheel. Uh, something on the dash that I'll show you right now. As we turn on the lights of the dash, there's a light that shows up here. Bear with me. Yeah, now she doesn't want to show up. But there you go. There you go. Okay, got it on. Uh, so that's the linked pedal feature. The linked pedal feature is something that can be added to the DK, but it is standard on the CK. Another reason that this is more decked out. The link pedal option can be sold in the box to the customer or installed. I'll be honest, the installation isn't something that just takes 10 minutes. It's a pretty lengthy job. Um, but that is a feature that I roundabout will say somewhere in the range of 250 to 550 bucks, depending on installation charges, blah, blah, blah. Um, the next feature being cruise control. That would also be something that could be 250 to say 450 bucks on a DK. That comes standard on the CK, uh, standard, so you can have cruise control on the hydrostatic. Uh, loader joystick by your side on both tractors. You have side-by-side -side hydro, uh, hydrostatic pedals down by the floor here. Tilt steering on both, low, medium, and high range on both. One option, again, we get on the CK that we don't get on the DK are these armrests. Can we add them to the DK? Sure, we can, um, but just another option that costs money. So. Um, just play that into the game. A little bit more money that you're going to be spending on some of these options here. Uh, Three-point hitch control uh, and rear remote control over there. All your uh, wipers and stuff. Electronic PTO on both. That's a nice feature. There is an auto and manual PTO on the CK. Don't hold me to it, but I believe there is not on the DK. What that means is when you're lifting and lowering your mower, it will automatically engage and disengage it as you lift it or to lower it back down. That does come standard on this, and that is an option that I believe you cannot add to the DK if it does not come standard. So that's something to pay attention to. Um, I think that's most of the features. Uh, internal cab mirror here, that's one I didn't mention. It's about a 60 or $70 option on the DK. Pretty cheap, reasonable to add. Um, so that is uh, that's some of the features anyways that we'll have on the CK over the DK. How uh, different style bucket, uh, you know, there is some other things, but features wise, I just kind of went through the features that you got. Let's, uh, let's hop in the DK cab. I'll go through some of the features this has, and you'll be surprised because there will be a few features that the DK has over the CK 
and you can't get them on the CK, so we'll pay attention to that. So underslung fuel tank, it is protected pretty well, and it is a larger fuel tank. There is one advantage right there. We already talked about the loader advantage. Uh, internal cab space as we climb in here, you would think it would be much, much bigger. Um, although it is bigger, it is not much, much bigger. Um, so you'll actually be, most people are very, very surprised at the cab space you get on the CK. Uh, so don't worry about that uh, in these. There is a cruise control for the PTO. Um, what does that mean, Marshall? Well, that basically means you set the PTO, you're brush hogging at a speed. If it gets to some really, really thick brush and you have cruise PTO on, it'll automatically rev the tractor up more or down. You know, so it basically acts as like a cruise control, setting its speed for you, for your PTO. Uh, another thing this tractor comes standard with is you don't need a radio to play music in this tractor. The CK, you do. Um, there is an auxiliary and a phone port right here and a stereo and auxiliary button, a, a 12 volt outlet and such that comes standard on the DK. That's something that doesn't come with a CK. You do have speakers on the CK pre-wired in like you do on this but they're not wired to an auxiliary port where you don't need a radio. So you're stuck buying a radio on that one. Um, this one, you can buy a radio and add it in, but you can also just use your good old phone with a cord to it. Uh, two and four wheel drive, uh, low, medium and high range and diff lock, that's all mechanical, just like it was on the CK. Tilt steering wheel, still a standard feature. Um, loader joystick on our fender. One rear remote valve over here in your three point hitch no internal cab mirror we do have a front uh, cab wiper side mirrors and lights on both tractors okay but obviously only rear heated window defrosted window with no wiper wiper is an add-on option on this cab uh no armrest we'll notice on the seat in here uh, but it is the same seat as that one so you still have some height adjustments forward and reverse adjustments and hydraulic cushioning adjustments all right uh, one thing actually, here's a DK feature that you don't really think about, but it is a nice feature, um, is there is splittable brakes on a DK. On the opposite side of your forward and reverse pedals, on the CK, there is no splittable brakes. It's all one brake pedal. That's kind of a cool feature the DK does offer. <laughs> Excuse me, and you cannot add it to the CK. All right. Mm. Still quick attach front bucket, standard, so I could pop this bucket right on the CK if I wanted to do so. Um, both of them will have a bucket level indicator right here, which is handy. Both of them have a grill guard, uh, and both of them have cab front and rear lights. So no difference there as far as that feature goes. Let's, uh, let's come around to the back of this DK, and we'll go over what you know some of the features are like back here, whereas we did on the CK. All right, so pretty basic three-point hitch. Are these a bad system? Absolutely not. I mean, this is what most tractors come with, obviously. It's just a standard category one three-point hitch. It goes to category two when you go up to like the 60 horse version of this, but otherwise comparing apples to apples. You can pretty much hook up the same attachments on either tractor. There's no difference as far as what this tractor will do over that one because their horsepowers are similar. Although there's a little bit of extra weight in the DK, it's still the same pinhole size, the same rate, rated speed at the PTO and so forth. So we can imagine hooking up a five foot brush hog on either of these, they're gonna be very efficient, you know? Um, rear remote, one rear remote standard, that's a nice feature, but you can add up to, uh, you know, have up to two. You get two standard from the factory on the, on the CK. So that's a feature you're missing out on. Still got the lift and lower these three point hitch arms, um, which is a great feature. Toolbox. Uh, rear cab lights, all that type of stuff. You do have the added supreme, uh, you do have the added frame support for the front end loader going to the back end of this tractor. That's these orange frame pieces hooked in right here. Those are not an option to add to the CK. Those are just coming on the larger loaders. You know, obviously need that extra support to the back. So that comes standard on a DK. But uh, yeah, those are some you know, similarities and differences between the two tractors. Uh, either of these tractors, we always recommend to our customers. It's a great, great opportunity to load the tires. If you're going to be maximizing the loader specs and using the lift capacity to its full potential, 
Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I didn't want to make this super long, go too in depth, but that's kind of a quick overview. Most of those features that I did mention, you can add to the DK. Uh, I will say that pretty much every DK I sell, somebody adds at least one or two of the features the CK has. So it's not uncommon. Don't freak out about it. You're still, your pricing is still going to be very close. Consider both tractors. Um, anyways, pricing super similar. Tractors are very comparable models. If you want to see these side by side for yourself, come on down. We're on Route 9 in Belchertown, Massachusetts. We always stock both these models. Again, I'm Marshall Kirby from Orchard Hill Farm Equipment, and uh, we'll catch you next time, guys. Thank you.